I'll be with you in just a second, sir, ma'am, glamour. Babe, how was work? Good. It was splatter day. It was what day? Splatter day. The kids tend to be really energetic at the start of the school year, so we go outside, grab a bunch of paints, and do splatter artwork. It made a mess. But I think they had fun. They had fun? I want to do a splatter day. That sounds amazing. Oh, back in the 60s, I had a phase where I would paint my horns different colors every week. Sometimes splattered and funky, other times with doodles or really intricate designs. Took way too much time and money, but it was fun. Are we still good to meet my parents this weekend? Ugh. Yes. Are you dreading it because you don't think they'll be nice, or because of your insecurities? I'm not a therapist, but it's probably the insecurity. I'm sure they're great people, definitely better than my parents, so they're gonna be taking one look at me and immediately wonder, why the hell is our daughter dating this piece of trick? What? Ow! No saying mean things about yourself. Agreed. I don't date pieces of trash. I date good people. So at least trust my judgment? Got your hot chocolate right here for you, Nicole, and we're about to get some cookies out of the oven in like five minutes so you get them warm and gooey. I've got a few things to clean up here and then drive back home with you. Okay. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Yes. Oh boy. Brace for impact in three, two, one. That pin means you're bisexual, right? Yes. And your partner, they've got another pin that means something else? They're gender non-binary. I swear to God if he starts getting her shit. Yeah, um, he's just asking questions. Honest ones. For now. Okay, cool. Um, how did your family react to that? They weren't surprised. I've always liked girls and envies. Never really looked at men. Which I suppose technically makes me sapphic, but I prefer bisexual as it literally means attraction to two, or self and other. But everyone has a different interpretation of it. Oh, okay. So they just treat anyone you bring home as if you were bringing home a guy? My mother says that she's actually relieved that I don't bring men, as the majority of domestic abusers are cis men. Also, this reduces the chances of unexpected pregnancy. Oh. See? All good. Mm. Why do you ask? Um, oh, there really is no good way to say this. Nah, shit, I spoke too soon. So, don't freak out. I'm uncomfortable around gay people, and that is not your problem. It is purely a me problem. I'm just not used to them. Like, I'm cool with them in theory. I, I never voted against their marriage or anything like that. I just don't want them in my life. And that used to be fine, but then my younger brother came out as gay. Mm. So I've been trying to do things like go to drag shows and hitting up queer-friendly spots in town as a kind of exposure therapy, because the last thing I want is to give my brother shit. Well, no homophobic shit. I mean, I'm still gonna tease him mercilessly, that's my job. Just, you know, in a good way, not a dickish way. Fan fiction. Huh? Sorry, couldn't help it over here. If you want exposure therapy to get used to the idea of queer people in relationships, read fanfiction. Whoa, you think he's ready for that? I'm not saying jump right into the explicit shit. AO3 has tag control, so start with Jen and teen rated fix. That's basically like the G, PG, PG-13. Plenty of wholesome queer rep there. Wait, I thought fanfiction was all porn. That's like saying all of cinema is porn. There's a solid minority, yeah, and that's gonna have an E or explicit rating. You can avoid that until you feel you're ready for it, if you ever are. I don't usually read that stuff. I like Jen and fluffy romance fix. Me too. I blame the asexuality. I just can't connect with spicy stuff unless it's part of a larger narrative. I blame my demisexuality. There's gotta be feelings, you know? I have almost 500 bookmarks and most of them are mature or explicit. Damn! I need to get into reading. Um, okay. Well, my favorite show is Supernatural. Are there any good gay fan fictions in that? <laughs> oh, my sweet summer child. Okay, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. 
You've got it. They'll like you. Nicole, sweetie, oh, so good to see you again. And you brought your partner. Hello, sweetheart. I'd hug you, but I see you brought goodies. Yeah, <clears throat> hi, yeah. I made some cinnamon rolls for you. Oh, I love a person who can bake. Come in, come in. Charles, they're here. He's finishing up dinner. Gotta love a man who can cook. I know, right? It's the whole reason I married him. Well, that and he's good in the sack. Mom, sorry, sweetie. You know I love to tease. Kick off your shoes. Make yourself at home. I'll take those cinnamon rolls. Well, I hope you're hungry because we got barbecued chicken, mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes. Homemade mac and cheese. Damn, you guys don't play around. I absolutely refuse to cook that bullshit they sell you in boxes. I'm Charles, by the way. Or Charlie. JC, was it? Yeah, it stands for Jennifer Charles. Either way it works. Can I help you set up? You're a guest, and my wife would slaughter me for it, especially since you brought dessert. Mmm. Damn, that was really good. I'm gonna need the recipe. He slow cooks it in a homemade sauce, and then takes about a dozen spices. I can tell! So how did you two meet? NASA! We both worked on launching a rover to Mars. Seriously? Oh yes, I've since become a professor, and Abigail works at the local observatory and science museum. Did I forget to tell you that? Yeah, yeah you did. But, uh, I can't say I'm shocked that your parents are bigger nerds than you. Oh, please, you haven't even seen his Magic the Gathering card collection. It's more valuable than his car. No, but I've seen the Coles. I'm trying to get them to play. There are eight million rules and exceptions to each and every one of them, and you play it to unwind? I don't get it either. Yes. The art is pretty, and the game is based on math. The art is pretty. Not as pretty as Nicole's. So Nicole tells us that you work at a bakery. A cafe. It's not... sending people to space. No, but you did help rescue Bob when she got kidnapped by witches. And with Vlad. Okay, Bob handled Vlad, alright? And you broke the fairy circle that was keeping her contained, and gave Cyrus the good luck charm that protected him from getting shot. I just held a gun and I looked pretty. And you killed a few unicorns during the unicorn attack. That was not a fun day. Thank you for that, by the way. We almost throttled her when she said she let herself be used as bait. It worked. It did. And I'm still mad at Bob over it. So to answer your question, yes, I am the baker and kitchen manager at Cafe Latte, but I have a side hustle of getting into paranormal bullshit. It's at least 40% of our relationship. Yeah. The rest is making fun of bad movies. Aww. I'll drink to that. Let's dive into those cinnamon rolls. Do you think they liked me? I don't think they liked me. Jennifer Charles, I'm bad at gauging people's emotions and predicting their responses, but I know my parents. And my dad only gives people his secret sauce chicken recipe to people he really likes and wants to see more of. And your mom? Only comes out that strong with the inappropriate jokes when she wants people to like her. I think she was more nervous than you. What? Really? Do you think they liked us? I don't know if they liked us. Honey, I knew I came on too strong. I just wanted them to know that it'd be a good mother-in-law, not one of those toxic bitches. Yeah, whoa. Cart in front of the horse, honey. <sighs> Braithu, have you seen any paper clips? Mm, no, I haven't needed to use any. Don't they burn you? I got new plastic ones, no steel or iron. Drek, have you seen any? I've just been doing the dishes. Maybe Husni has seen one? She's on break. Usually ducks out for one of her daily prayers and to call on her children. Should be back soon. Well, if you need to keep your paper clips together, just fold. You just kind of tear it and you fold it. And that'll work. I never have to use staplers or paper clips. Everything's digital. Even your homework? Especially with my homework. I remember in elementary school, I could lie about finishing my homework on time, but obviously it just fell out of the teacher's pile. And then you put a shoe print on the paper and you leave it by the door the next day so the teacher buys it. Yeah. Exactly. But ever since COVID, everything is all upload onto this and email me that. All oh, right. What did I miss? The art of mortgaging your future. The fading traditions of my generation. Bob needs paper clips. Oh, I hid them. They're in my purse. Why? I didn't want anyone to accidentally swallow them. They're a choking hazard. Ma'am, I was born when this country was still a collection of British colonies. And I am 1,200 years old. 
I turn 18 in a few months, but I haven't purposefully tried to eat a paperclip since I was like two. So I, I think, I think I'm okay, ma'am. Mommy mode moment. I'll get you a paperclip, Bob. And here's your drink. Have a good day. Uh, Bob, that appointment I told you about earlier, I need to do that. Of course, you can use the break room or the restroom if you want. Jennifer Charles cleared a space for you in the fridge with the glass door for you. Thank you. I think I'll just use my car. What was that about? She has to pump. Oh, right. Seven-month-old twins. She's probably going to need to hydrate after, right? I don't know. I'm assuming yes. I've got some new drink ideas. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it over here. Did you say that your employee is... Coming up with new drink ideas? He does that quite a lot. One could even say it's my job. No, not him. The woman. She's... Pumping? Not that it's any of your business, but that is something that human mothers do several times a day. I believe it's something like every three hours. Seriously? Oh, that poor woman. Okay, uh, she needs, like, all the sugar and carbs. What if we dumped marshmallow, strawberry, and eldritch blood into a mocha? The eldritch blood will help her stay awake, but you could also swap it out for pixie dust so she can actually get some sleep. Oh, don't use real marshmallow, though. That uses gelatin, which utilizes pork. I'm sorry, you let her do that? On the clock. Why wouldn't I? We're not busy. She needs it for her health and her family. It's a perfectly natural thing. It's gross and time-consuming. And she's Muslim. They're not allowed to show off. Muslims are encouraged to breastfeed for two years according to the Quran. How each individual mother interprets that is up to her. Well, then why did she even hire her in the first place? What is this, the fucking 50s? It certainly sounds familiar. Well, at least make her clock out first. I will do no such thing. She applied to work for me specifically so she would have more disposable income for herself and her family. If I deny her something very simple that she needs to do for her family, then not only would it be incredibly rude and inconsiderate, she'd likely quit and search for work elsewhere. I'm just saying, if it were me... Well, it is not, and you will be silent because I do not want to hear another word about it. In fact, I'm not going to let you say a word about this specific subject for three years, or until you learn some basic empathy for parents and parenthood. What about a heavenly latte? Land of milk and honey? Eh, that's probably a little too on the nose. Well, those flavors do go well together. And the Quran mentions rivers of water, milk, honey, and wine, so if you add a berry variant... Dish Goblin! Can I take your plate, ma'am? Why, well, thank you, baby. Would you mind getting me a refill while you're at it? I'll pay cash. Yeah, sure. You can take my plate, too. And maybe my number while you're at it. Uh, no thanks. I'm 17. Damn. Jailbait. Well, lucky for me, it's only illegal if you're 15. You know, I've always loved the subterranean type of fairies. Goblins, dwarves, gnomes. Such a tight... F hey, now that is enough. What? Go and get your boss, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I am so behind on all of my television shows, it's embarrassing. See, I don't really watch TV. I'm more of a book person. Same. Give me an audiobook over a movie any day. Hey, Drek. You okay? Yeah, I just need a refill on this mug. Um, is Bob in? She just stepped out for a break. Why? Well, the, the woman with the yarn told me to get her because of this one customer. Someone's being mean to yarn granny? No, no, she is fine, but he was saying some really, really gross things to me. I don't mind going back to jail. No, no, JC, I am not cleaning whatever mess that you are about to make, and we really don't want to have to hire another baker. So I'll handle this while you and Wraith... Wraith? Now, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. What would your mama say? Oh, it's just a little fun. Don't be jealous. Honey, that is on a different planet. If you're my boy, I'd be dragging you home by the ear. Would you shut your wrinkly mouth, you old... Was just... Classroom old woman who's calling your help was sexually harassing a child. 
They're here are your options. Me, the fairy witch, or Dora. Well handled, darling. But please do keep that smoke away from me. It seeps into your clothing and my husband has asthma. <coughs> ah, excuse me. You're the one who wanted a refill? Yes, darling. I'll have someone give it to you on the house. Don't tell the fairies. Can I take your plate, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, yes, you may. Thank you. Oh, hey, Druck. I didn't know you worked here. Oh, hey, Tom. Yeah, I just started as a dishwasher, which I'll take it over calculus any day. I know, right? Fuck that class. Oh, I was actually about to text you about the group project in history that we have due next week. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. What? Yeah, my antidepressant bills haven't been making me feel really good, and my ADHD won't let me focus on the reading, so... Dude, I have ADHD, and a job, and I still have time to do my part of the group project which is going to affect the grades of four other people. You do not have ADHD, okay? It's a real disability. Yeah, it can be, which is why I have the pills in my backpack and a million alarms on my phone to remind me to do basic stuff. If your disability isn't letting you do the thing, then you need to talk to the teacher about it. You can't just dump all the work on the rest of us last minute. I can hyperfocus and bullshit my way to a passing grade, but even I have my limits. I shouldn't have to talk to the teacher, it's embarrassing. Well, so is failing. Have your parents talk to the teacher if you can't, but I will be telling her that you're refusing to do the work. D that is not cool. Alright, you're making me sound lazy. I'm not. I'm disabled. Right. And yet your depression and ADHD caused absolutely no problems when you wanted to throw a pool party yesterday. Or when you got to do a book report on a book that you actually like. Or when you do theater club. It never causes you problems there. That's different. Excuse me. If you're really having trouble with depression and ADHD, I work with the Coven of Witches. We have multiple spells that can either help curb the symptoms or even the side effects of the meds. That's true, I've seen her do it. Well, why not get the Fairy Witch to magic my disabilities away? Her magic doesn't work like that. Causing damage is much easier than fixing it. However, she can curse you to only tell the truth anywhere from a day to seven years if you really want to assure your classmate that you're not just using your disability as a shield to avoid doing work. Oh, how dare you? You don't know anything! I'm autistic, and also a teacher. I know when a student is weaseling their way out of work, especially when it's a group project, which is even worse. Shall I call the fairy? Thank you, Miss Nicole. Were you really gonna call Miss Bob? I don't bluff, and I hate when people use neurodivergence as an excuse to be lazy. Right? It makes the rest of us look bad. And I don't know anything about autism, but I'll be the first to say that while ADHD definitely causes problems, you can turn it into a strength. It makes me so much more creative. I was really looking forward to this group project before frickin' Tom bailed on us. If you want the Covens having a sale on good luck charms, you might need it for your project. You know what? Yeah. Thanks. Hey, Mrs. Gibson, you wanted to see me? Yes, Drek. Please take a seat. Mm. Ah. Hey, Tom. Hmm. So, Tom was telling me about some issues you've been having about the group project due this week. Yeah, you asked her about accommodations? Among other things. Apparently, you've been bullying Tom about his mental health conditions? What? No. You totally did. You called me lazy. I did not. I said that if you can't do your share of the group project because of your ADHD and depression, then you need to talk to the teacher about accommodations rather than just dump everything on us last minute. Yeah, and then you said a bunch of other stuff and basically said that you do theater and pool parties so you can't be that affected by your conditions. That is not... <sighs> okay. Um... You remember when we first got this group project and I was upfront about my ADHD and how I should not be trusted with things like diagrams or charts or really anything with numbers because math is my kryptonite. I hate it. My brain cannot latch onto it. I'll be lucky to get a C- in calculus this year. Yeah? That was the perfect opportunity for you to tell us your kryptonite, things that your brain just won't let you do. But you didn't say anything. You were on your phone half the time. It was a bad day for me, okay? Stop shaming me. I am not shaming you. I am asking you to freaking work with me here because you're not taking responsibility for your shit. <clears throat> Sorry. You're just sitting back and making us do the whole thing and then you use your diagnoses as an excuse. See? He did it again. And not offer any solutions to the problem. That's what's pissing me off. 
Well, your group is going to have to come to some sort of conclusion. And there will be a survey where each student will grade not just their own efforts, but that of their group mates. Well, that is not fair. You need to find some way to contribute. But, no offense, but it is such a boring subject. Ouch. Okay, well, theater and plays bring you dopamine, right? You can actually latch on to it even if it's not the best script or topic. Obviously. So why didn't you suggest that we do a little skit or play as a way to do the presentation? I'm sure Mrs. Gibson wouldn't mind us bending the rules a little for that, right? I mean, I know you said we should do a PowerPoint, but... So long as it stays within the seven minute time limit, you can present your project in any way you see fit. Huh. It's actually a pretty good idea. Well, we only have four days left and Megan hates public speaking. She actually passed out during a presentation in English last year. I thought she was gonna brain herself on the table. But she loves making PowerPoints and digital art and stuff, right? So like, she can make backgrounds and project them on the screen to, and then help us with the script and stuff. Actually, she and Jenny were talking about how much they were getting into like sewing and crafts for home ed. Do you think we could do sock puppets? Oh, that'd be hilarious. And it'd be easy because we can use like different colored ones for different characters without needing to do so too much effort. Like just put googly eyes on them. Sounds like you two have some work to do. I'll move you to the last day of presentations to give you some more time. Thanks, Mrs. Gibson. Oh boy, brace for impact in three, two, one, great them? I want to do a splatter day. That sounds amazing. I've got some new drink ideas. Seriously? Oh, that poor woman. What was that about? What about a heavenly lot? What is this, the fucking 50s? One could even say it's my job. Well, thank you, baby. You're my boy. I've been dragging you home by the ear. What would your mama say? Would you mind getting me a refill while you're at it? Hey, now that is enough. The fading traditions of my generation. Nope. Did he burn you? Took way too much time and money, but it was fun. Don't tell the fairies. Fan fiction. I will stab you with it. Yeah. I'll be with you in just a second, sir, ma'am, glamour, babe! Seriously? Someone's being mean to ignore me? I've got this. I've got this. I don't mind going back to jail. That was not a fun idea. I can tell! The art is pretty and the game is based on math. Hmm? Oh, yes, you may. I don't date pieces of trash. I date good people. I'm autistic. And also a teacher. Did I forget to tell you that? Shall I call the fairy? It's at least 40% of our relationship. I don't know. Ah. Hey, Tom. What? I am asking you to freaking work with me here. Dish goblin! Bob needs paper clips. Yeah, it can be. What? No. Do you think we could do sock puppets? I'll take it over calculus any day. Can I take your plate, ma'am? I've just been doing the dishes. Math is my kryptonite. I hate it. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah. Thanks. So I, I think I think I'm okay, ma'am. Well, so is failing. Uh, Bob? Oh, I hid them. They're in my purse. Mommy mode moment. They're a choking hazard. Oh, right. What did I miss? I'll get you a paperclip, Bob. Why wouldn't I? Coming up with new drink ideas? He does that quite a lot. It's a perfectly natural thing. Why? I don't know. The art of mortgaging your future. No, we're not busy, and I am 1,200 years old.